Biologists have dubbed birds like Rita here the most intelligent. She's a military McClaw. And Bambi Godkin is here to explain more. She's the education manager over at Mill Mound Zoo. Yeah. Welcome back, Bambi. Yeah, thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about Rita. Yeah, so Rita is a 13-year-old military macaw. Uh, military macaws and other macaw species like mm -hmm. scarlet macaws, those are the large red ones okay, that you yeah. see at uh, usually more tropical zoos. Um, all of those are in the parrot family because okay. a lot of times I take Rita places and people are like, parrot. And I'm like, it's a military macaw. I thought it was a parrot. You're not wrong. Okay. So all macaws are parrots, but not all parrots okay. are macaws. How can you tell the difference? <laughs> yeah, so macaws are regionally are only found in this hemisphere, so you're only okay. going to find them in North and South America. Um, all parrots are very, very intelligent. Macaws are even smarter than what other parrots. What makes them even more smart? You know, I, I don't know why they're so intelligent, <laughs> but they are, um, biologists estimate they're about as smart as two-year-old humans. Wow. So, yeah. very, That's so yeah. cool. So where did Rita come from to you guys? Yeah. You said she's been with you for quite a few years. Yeah, she she actually hatched at the zoo, so a oh, former amazing. employee got a, a macaw egg, well, incubated it, <laughs> yeah, and, and hatched it and took care of it until she, you know, she was... What kinds of things does she eat or so, do? Yeah, yeah, so macaws are herbivores. Generally, they may occasionally eat an insect or something like that in the wild, but for the most part, they're going to eat seeds, nuts, uh, fruits, vegetables, and things like that. So they have a real powerful beak for cracking nut shells and things like that. So I can put you on the spot here, but can she... Say anything? Do a trick? Yeah, <laughs> so they have, um, they, ha they have a wonderful ability for mimicry. In the wild, they would mimic a lot of other animal sounds, mm -hmm. but around us, they're going to pick up our sounds and sure. words. So, of course, she's uh, things she's heard a lot. So, hello, goodbye, good girl, oh, pretty girl. She's saying something. Rita, like, but hello. It's, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, she can say what you doing and I don't care. Oh, gosh, she's um, sassy. Yeah, and she's like picked her. up laughing, so that's always fun. I like um, her. Yeah. You guys have some great events coming up at the zoo, and the first one's actually about birds. Birds. Yeah, so, so tell us a little yeah. bit about that one. World Migratory Bird Day is this Saturday, so we're keeping our fingers crossed that we don't get rained out. Um, but that that event is to celebrate the migratory birds um, mm -hmm. that you know come all the way up from South America every wow. you know spring um, to learn a little bit more about that. So we'll have yeah. some keeper chats about some of our birds and some activities and uh, a community art show. If you bring an animal themed artwork, you get in free. <laughs> and then on May 18th, you have two events. Yes, our first Breakfast with the Animals, uh, which is a before we're open event, so pre-register. I knew that was going to happen. Uh, <laughs> 30 in the morning, breakfast, uh, keeper chat, um, meet one of our education animals, um, and then in the evening, then brew at the zoo. Absolutely, and those are a lot of fun. You have a really busy summer. Yes. So where can people find more information about yeah. the zoo and all the events? Our website has an up-to-date list of all those events that we have, and that's www.mmzoo.org. Perfect. Thank you so much, Bambi. <laughs> You're welcome.